guys, so today I'm doing a haul video and I have two places that I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Both are online stores and both are like discounted online stores. The first place that I will share is the $10 mall, which I discovered through my friend LJ here on YouTube. She like talked about it. Maybe she did like a haul video and then she sent like a few more haul videos and I was like, yep, I need to get some things from there. Everything at the $10 mall is... $10 or less. So it's just $10mall.com. I will leave links to both of the places I'm talking about down below. This isn't a sponsored video, by the way. It's kind of starting to sound like it is. It's not at all. I just wanted to shop from these places and I thought I would share with you guys kind of like a little review of them and the items that I got. It's also going to be a try-on haul, so I will insert clips of me wearing the items that I am showing you guys and kind of tell you how I like to style them. Um, the second place is SheInside or SheInside.com. This is kind of like a really well-known discounted store, I feel like, or online store. Um, you see it a lot, like, advertised on Facebook and YouTube and just basically anywhere on blogs and stuff. So I ordered from there for the first time. I had had things, like, waiting, and I finally was like, yep, I'm going to order it. I'm going to kind of review it a little bit and show you what I got. So starting with $10 Mall, I will show you the items that I got from there first. So all the items I'm going to show you I have had for a while, especially the $10 Mall. Um, so a lot of them have been worn and washed. So they're looking a little, a little rough, I will say, because it's kind of, some of the items are just really cheap and I really didn't take very good care of them like washing them like I probably should have put them on delicate but I didn't so I'll get into that when we get started and stuff but the first piece I'm going to show you is this shirt that I got from $10 mall it was on sale so it was like I think it was maybe five dollars I just thought it was really cute I love like fun graphic tees especially for the summertime they're just so easy and I really liked this one because it's long so I could wear it with leggings and not feel like my butt's hanging out or like my crotch area. So that's nice. It's just got like the star triangle graphic. It's white. It is pretty sheer so I have to wear a tank top underneath. It's got um like cuffed sleeves but because I've washed it the cuffed sleeves are kind of like messed up but I kind of like it. It just gives it kind of more of like a relaxed like throw on tee kind of look. They're not like perfectly cuffed. They're kind of like rolling now. So I really like this. Um, it did shrink a little bit in the wash, so it's not as long as it once was, which is pretty upsetting. And the collar is kind of weird. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but it's really, like, long. So it kind of goes across a little strange, but honestly, I'm not complaining. It was five bucks. It's really soft, and it's just an easy, like, throw-on shirt. And it's got a cool, like, fun little graphic on there. I like it. The next thing that I got, I haven't worn yet. It ended up being a little bit different than what I thought it was going to be. It's this kind of like jersey material cardigan, but I don't know if you can see the bottom is like kind of got this layering look and it's really flowy and the sleeves, which is so bizarre to me, it has like cutouts like for your thumbs and then it's got this like trimming along it that's kind of like I don't know what it's supposed to look like it just I really couldn't tell you I don't really know what it's supposed to look like it just looks like a design or something it just gives it more texture and like trims the outside on the website it looked like this was glitter so I thought it was gonna be glittery it's not it's just like this weird kind of textury thing and then like it's layered and flowy it's still cute like I still will wear it it's just not what I thought it was going to be. I thought it, for some reason it was going to be like thick and I didn't realize it was going to be like so like flowy and different. Um, but I think that it might look really cute with like an all black outfit underneath like black leggings and a long black t-shirt or a tank top and then putting this on over it. I don't know. Um, you'll see in like the try on bit what it looks like on. So tell me if you have any suggestions. How do you think I should style this? Like, do you think that would be cute, an all-black outfit with this over it? It's really light, so it's not anything that I could wear, like, right now because it's still kind of chilly out. Um, it'd have to be more, like, in the summer, in the evening, because it is just, I mean, I don't know if you can see or tell. Can you see me? It's super sheer, so a little different than what I thought it was. But, like I said, it was only 10 bucks. 
The next piece is definitely the piece that I have worn the most and that I love. It is probably my favorite piece that I got from $10 Mall. It's this cropped sweatshirt, but it has this really cool detailing on the shoulders and they're like see-through kind of. It looks kind of like lace or like doilies or something like that, but it's really nice. It's like a really good quality light um, sweatshirt, but not too light. Like it doesn't feel like a t-shirt or like jersey material. It feels like a sweatshirt and it's cropped and I love wearing these with my high-waisted Joni jeans from Topshop. I think it looks so cute. Um, like I said, I got this items from Tyler Mall a while ago, like probably back in I think February, so it was really cold and chilly, and this was just perfect for the winter with some Joni jeans and then boots. It looked really cute. Um, probably won't be getting a lot of wear of it now in the spring, maybe a little bit because it's still kind of chilly. It's just a very like kind of wintry outfit, I feel like. But I think this would look really cute um, over skirts, like kind of like high-waisted circle skirts because it is cropped. So that is a way I could style it for the spring. The next piece that I got from $10 Mall is this um, cardigan, but it's kind of like one of those bat-winged cardigans, and it's circled. It's kind of like Brandy Melville-esque. It's very lightweight and stretchy and just really comfy and nice. I kind of wish the sleeves were longer. They kind of come up to about my elbow, so I wish they were a little bit longer, but it looks really cute, and it was super cheap. It's got some like detailing. I don't know if you can tell. In the front that makes it look kind of like layered it just hangs really loosely and nice it's just a really nice kind of like spring throw on cardigan this is the last piece that I got from $10 mall and it is this sweatshirty sort of thing it's like sweatshirt material it's really long it's longer in the back than in the front it has black sleeves this front part is kind of like olive green color and then it has these really cool detailing on the sleeves. I think this is so cute. It's got like flower embroidering, 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 that's right, right? That's a word, embroidering on the sleeve. I think this looks so cute with leggings and like Converse because it's kind of like girly but still like that sporty-ish look to it. I don't know. This was perfect for the winter time just to like throw on and go to class. I don't know, again, how much wear I'll be getting out of it in the spring because it's kind of like, I don't know, to me it's just a very like wintry outfit, but I loved it during the winter time and I will keep it for next winter. Okay, so moving on to Shein side, first I just want to mention that I was kind of disappointed by this website. Like the website looks so good, but I was disappointed by the products and the shipping. It was kind of a disaster, so I placed an order. Um, I believe it took, okay, so the thing that was weird, let me start over, is that they shipped my order in two parts. So I placed one big order and they shipped half of it, um, probably like two weeks, or they shipped it like a few days after I placed the order, but I got it like two weeks after I had placed it and I only got half the order, but they never said anything about it being shipped in two pieces. So I went back and I saw that like they had split it up which was really weird and I was waiting and waiting and waiting forever and my second part it was like a week or two later and it still hadn't been processed to be shipped so I emailed them like what's going on like why isn't this second part being shipped and they just said that they had a lot of backup and it was all very weird and then finally like two weeks later it got processed to be shipped and I didn't get it until two weeks after that so this took about a month for me to get all of my items so and I've looked at reviews and I've seen that a lot of people have that problem. She Inside just takes a long time to get your items. So kind of put that into consideration when you're ordering. If you don't need items right away or you're just like don't really care about them showing up quickly, then go for it because they have some really cute pieces for really inexpensive. The other thing is, is I would read the reviews for those items down below. A lot of people will say if like the sizing is off, if the quality isn't good, because their sizing looks a little bit funky. Um, I ordered everything in a small and majority of the things fit me. There was really just one item that didn't really fit me at all and then there was another item that didn't fit as I thought it would fit, um, which I will share with you guys when I go through the items. But it's only an okay honestly discounted website store. I would just do your research before 
put in consideration that it takes a hell of a long time for you to get your items and like really review what you're getting. Um, unfortunately, I can only share with you guys tops and one pair of shorts. I didn't get any dresses because the sizing was just so confusing for me that I just thought, forget it, I'm not going to go through that. Also, returning is insane. I don't really understand if they have free returns or how I do it. I have been like trying to figure it out forever and I've emailed them and I haven't heard a response. So if you guys know how returns work on Shein side, let me know. It says on their website that they have free returns, but it is beyond confusing. So with that being said, a little review of it and I'll show you what I got. <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to show you guys is the thing that absolutely does not fit, will not fit, and the sizing is so off, are these pair of shorts. They are so cute, and I am so upset that they will not fit. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's like a weird fuzzy. I'm so upset that these will not fit. They are like high-waisted and distressed and just so cute. I ordered a small. This is baby size. This is not going to, like, who fits into that? Not me, that's for sure. And I wouldn't even say, like, I am a petite person. I am short and pretty little, but I am a woman. Like, I got some curves. I got hips. I got boobs. Like, I got a booty. Like, no, that's not going to fit. This is not a woman small. This is a child small. So this will not have a triumphant because I can't even get it over my thighs. Like, it is absolutely tiny. On camera, it doesn't look that tiny, but I mean, I tell you what, no tiny also there's no hole in the button clasp like there's no slit to put the button through so like it's completely just jean material there's no like even look of they trying to put a hole in so that's just weird and this is the item that i have been struggling to return but honestly everything i got from chan side was pre no more than 25 if not less than that, I'm pretty sure that these were around like 10 or $15 mark. So they weren't like ridiculous, but I want to return them because there's no way I could wear them. It's all very weird. Okay, so the next item from Shein Side is the item that fits me, but it doesn't fit how I thought it would or how it's kind of displayed on the mannequin or the model mannequin. It's this button up flannel. It's super, super long. It's a little bit longer in the back than in the front. It has like three quarter length sleeves with like the ability to roll it up with the little like hook thing or like string thing to clasp it. Now this does fit, it just doesn't fit how I thought. I thought it would be a lot baggier and I thought the material was a lot thinner so it would hang a lot looser. It's a very thick flannel, like very high quality, really thick L.L. Bean material flannel. Like it's pretty dang thick. Also, I didn't realize the sleeves were three-quarter length, and I can't even wear them, like, down three-quarter length. They have to be rolled because when you button them, the hole is way too small. Like, this is the hole. You can't even, like, see the hole because it's so small. It doesn't even fit my hand. So they have to be rolled up, which isn't that big of a deal because I would roll up my flannel anyways, but it does kind of suck that you don't have that option. It's still really cute. I like that it's super long so I can wear it with leggings. I looked really cute in it with leggings, so I'm not complaining too much. It just doesn't fit how I thought it would. The next piece is probably one of my favorite pieces that I got from Shein Side, and I have worn a ton. This is really big and thick. It is this like caramel colored cardigan. It's super thick, really baggy and long. It's got two different textures on it. It has like this kind of like fuzzier texture and then this really thick knitted material it looks so cute with an all black outfit with leggings and then you just throw this on and it's like a really really thick big loose cozy cardigan i absolutely love this it was such a good deal too i think it was around like i said nothing was over 25 so i don't think this was more than 20 bucks i don't remember now though at all because it's been so long since i placed this order but if i can find the items for all of these I will leave it linked down below to the to their website so check it out there is also a black one I believe but I think this looks so cute with an all black outfit the next thing I ordered was this blazer it's kind of like a boyfriend style blazer so it's a little bit baggier and looser probably not something I would really wear with like um like dress pants it's more like something that you'd wear with jeans as like a stylish blazer or like a kind of casual 
business casual kind of atmosphere at work. It has cuffed sleeves, which is really cute. There are shoulder pads, but they're not thick at all. They just give the blazer more structure. Really cute, really good quality, and this was super inexpensive. Shanside has a ton of blazers, and blazers can be really expensive, so I definitely would recommend checking them out. This is a small. Everything I ordered was in a size small, and this fits perfectly. The next item that I ordered is this tank top with kind of like three-quarter length sleeve, but the sleeves are kind of like baggier, so this part starts like past the shoulders, like it starts more down here. It has this kind of like half turtleneck, turtleneck-esque sort of thing on the collar. It's kind of rounded at the bottom. This was so cute when I first ordered it, but it shrunk like a mofo in the wash. So I still think this would be really cute. I just would have to wear this with like high-waisted things. It's kind of turned into more of like in between a t-shirt and a, or a crop top. So I would wear it with like high-waisted jeans. I still think it would look really cute. It's stretchy and comfy material. Just wish I hadn't dried it, but that's user error because honestly, like I should not have dried this. I just wasn't thinking. And I don't know, I think it looks really cute with like a red lip. It's just, it's very Taylor Swift-esque, I think. I like it. It's cute. So the last thing that I ordered from Shein Side, which I am so obsessed about, is this sweater. It is so cute. It is like this heather gray material, or coloring material, with this lacy detailing on the bottom, and then it has lacy detail on the sleeve. It looks so cute. The lacy detail kind of like flares out at the bottom. It is adorable. It is kind of in between a thick and a thin sweater material. It's a little bit thicker than like a lightweight sweater, but it's not a thick sweater where it's very structured. It still hangs very loosely and really nice. And this is just so cute for a night out with your girlfriend getting drinks or something. I don't know why I have to like detail where you're going when you're wearing this, but I wear this on a night out. I wear it with black skinny jeans and then some boot like heel booties, but I think it would look really cute with like heels or just some really nice like tailored kind of jeans and heels. Oh, I just think this is so cute. So this sweater is how I discovered She Inside. Originally why I had heard of, it, heard of it, but why I wanted to purchase from it was I followed this account on Instagram called Like to Know It, I believe. You probably have heard of it. It's kind of going around. You like a picture on Instagram and then they will email you the details of the items and it's all like bloggers or vloggers that are on it. And I saw someone wearing this and I was like, oh, that's so cute. So I liked it and they emailed me that it was from She Inside. And now a ton of bloggers are wearing it on the Like to Know It Instagram account. So really excited about this. I just feel like such a blogger when I wear it. It's just really stinking cute. So that is everything for my haul video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, um, you can leave them in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. I know ordering from like discounted stores can be iffy and sizing can be weird. So I'll do my best to answer them. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you are new to my channel and I will talk to you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.